So the next question: A vessel is in the form of a hollow cylinder, hollow hemisphere, mounted by a hollow cylinder. The diameter of the hemisphere is fourteen centimeter, and the total height of the vessel is thirteen centimeter. Find the inner surface area of the vessel. So the vessel is. is a combination of two shapes which are the two shapes hemisphere and the cylinder for the hemisphere the only nomenclature is radius and for the cylinder there are two nomenclatures which are their radius and the height so if we know radius of the hemisphere radius of the cylinder and height of the cylinder we are able to calculate any any surface area or let's say or volume whatever is required and here in the question we have to find the inner surface area of the vessel okay so this is the vessel which is in the form of a hollow hemisphere the green shaped color is a hemisphere hollow hemisphere and it is mounted by a hollow cylinder okay the white portion is a cylinder and the green portion is a hemisphere both are hollow and diameter of the hemisphere you can see a circle at the top the diameter is given as 14 cm it's hollow and the diameter means it's a circle is there on top its diameter is given as 14 cm and the total height of the vessel total height means the full length the total height of the vessel is given as 13 cm okay then can you say the um, height of the cylinder then we need only the height of the cylinder what will it be height of the cylinder means if i am taking the hemisphere there's you can see the height of the hemisphere what will be the height of the hemisphere can you guess i told in the beginning itself hemisphere only has one nomenclature it is a radius so height of the hemisphere will be equal to radius of the hemisphere okay height of the hemisphere will be equal to radius of the hemisphere so radius of the hemisphere plus height of the cylinder is given as 13 cm the total height is given as 13 that 13 is the sum of height of the cylinder plus the radius of the hemisphere okay from that we have to find the height of the cylinder So for easy calculation, what we will do is we will write the first heading as cylinder, and the second heading as hemisphere. Okay, for hemisphere we need only one value, radius. Diameter of the hemisphere is given as fourteen, so radius will be fourteen by two, which is seven centimeter. For the cylinder we need H and R. Since I took a small letter R for hemisphere, I am taking capital R for cylinder. Okay, so correspondingly I took capital H for the cylinder. Again, what's the radius of the cylinder? Radius of the cylinder, since this is the shape, okay. Radius of the cylinder will be the same as radius of the hemisphere. So we can write here seven itself. Both values are the same. Then, if you need it, you can write it as small r itself. But still, to have the difference, I am writing it in capital letters. Again, we have to find the height of the cylinder. I told the total height is given as thirteen centimeter. Total height means it is the height of the cylinder plus. radius of the hemisphere so to find height of the cylinder what we have to do 13 minus 7 which gives you 6 cm so for the cylinder height is 6 cm and radius is 7 cm and we have to find the inner surface area inner surface area means inner surface area means which all we have to add we have to add the inner surface area of the cylinder and also the hemisphere isn't it so inner surface area of the cylinder means it is a csa of the cylinder and inner surface area of the hemisphere means it is a csa of the hemisphere so the required inner surface area will be equal to csa of cylinder plus csa of hemisphere Just substitute the formula and substitute the values. You will be getting the answer. CSA of the cylinder. What's the formula to find CSA of the cylinder? Two pi R H plus CSA of the hemisphere. What's the formula? CSA of the hemisphere is two pi R square. So not here actually it is two pi capital R H because we notated it as capital R and capital H. So same you have to give here. Otherwise you will be giving incorrect values for the radius and height. So two pi. Into what is capital R? Capital R is seven centimeter. Into capital H is six centimeter plus two pi into what is small r? Small r is the radius of the hemisphere, which is seven into seven, seven square. What is common here? Two pi into seven is common, isn't it? So the balance in the first term is six, and in the second term it is seven. So two into pi can be given the value twenty two by seven into seven into six plus seven gives you thirteen. So seven get cancelled, giving you forty four into thirteen. 
So multiply 44 into 13. 4, 3 is 12. Again 12 plus 1, 13. 1 into 4 is 4. Again 1 into 4, 4. So 2, 7, 5. So the answer you are getting is 572. Since we found out the surface area, you have to write the unit also. It is centimeter square. So the answer is 572 centimeter square.